I will always be a ride or die Jersey girl. Pony Boy uh, takes place in North Jersey in early in 2003, to be exact, uh, on Valentine's Day. It is about an intersex sex worker uh, who gets caught up with some gangsters and a sort of a bag drug deal goes wrong, uh, goes awry, and that is essentially the gist. The short of this film you created at USC. Yes. What would your college self think to know that they were premiering the feature length? here at Sundance? Honestly, I wouldn't think anything less. I always knew that it was going to be a feature. I always knew it was going to go to an amazing festival. Now being here, it feels like I'm the happiest I've ever been. India, knowing how personal this project was to River, what was one of the first things you wanted to ask them about the story when you came on board? The first question I asked was how much I was gonna be paid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Important. I'm just kidding, I did not. Like we had maybe a four hour conversation after I saw their short and read the script. And I remember I was talking a lot about my life experiences and talking really deeply about the capacity for people to make mistakes and also learn from them. You are gonna find someone that treats you like a queen. You think so? I do. River is an exceptional human being. I felt immediately like just so excited about what they were going to create, the place that they create from, wanting to be a part of that because I believe in the difference that art can make in the world. And the most interesting stories are the stories that haven't been taught yet, the stories that dip into the conversations that people are uncomfortable to have. And to play supporting, to support a story like this is um, an honor. The, the script was also incredible. Yeah. It was an incredible opportunity. Great roles. Yeah, it's, at the end of the day too, just a really badass movie. Esteban, what was one of the first things you asked River as you were deciding to take it on? Take me to New Jersey, show me around. I need to get to know you to get to know Jersey. You know, I'm not intersex, I'm not queer, so I needed to just connect at a human level and find that common ground. It's essential to care about what you're making in order to make it right. And if anything, this is my love letter to New Jersey. And I think the most important loves in our lives, they're complicated and they're messy. And once you realize that like, it's actually the place that makes you who you are and who you are is beautiful in its organic and raw form. Making this movie transcended my understanding of so many different parts of my identity. And I realized that, you know, I, I will always be a ride or die Jersey girl and that it made me who I am. On the plane right over here, I was telling Esteban that I was listening to Bruce Springsteen and I just started bawling because I realized that everything in my life led me to create this work that I'm really excited, that we're, we're all really excited to share with the world. I'm Bruce. Like Springsteen? Fan? Every Jersey girl is. Mm -hmm.